In this video, the UltiBots micro extruder is assembled. Gathered the micro extruder hardware bag, E3D V6 hotden bag, micro extruder motor, fan kit, and plastic parts including the micro extruder body, idler, magball effector, parts blower mount, and extruder motor fan duct. In addition, we recommend a cordless drill, metric drill bits, an X-Acto knife, metric hex ball head, flat and Phillips drivers. The first step is to clean out the support structures that are in the micro extruder body and idler. We recommend using an X-Acto knife for this process. Penetrate the screw hole support layer with the X-Acto knife and twist. In the lower bearing cavity, remove the screw support. On the idler, remove the bearing and nut supports. Use a 2mm drill bit and remount the filament guide hole from both directions. Next, use a 3mm drill bit and clean out the motor mount holes and idler screw holes. Then, carefully clean out the idler screw holes on the main body, but don't drill past the nut traps. With a 4mm bit, clean out the three bearing screw holes. Lastly, look over both parts and clean up any plastic remnants, including the E3D extruder recess. In this section, you will add hardware to the micro extruder plastic parts. Start by adding mag balls to the effector. Prior to adding mag balls to the effector, use an M3x12 screw to pre-draw the M3 nuts into the traps. Once complete, screw in the mag balls finger tight. Using a 10mm socket wrench, tighten each mag ball with a quarter turn. Then save the remaining mag balls for later assembly. When adding hardware to the micro extruder, it is helpful to reference the bag label. Spill out the contents and isolate the longest M3 by 35 screws, M3 washers, springs, and thumb nuts. Next, orient the effector with the body so the bearing cavities align with the wire management mount on the effector. Carefully insert an M3 nut into the hidden nut trap in the upper cavity of the extruder body. Use a screwdriver to help seat it. Then using gravity to assist, drive an M3 by 16 screw and M3 washer and secure the two parts together. Secure the other side with an M3 by 16 screw, washer, and nut. Next place two M4 washers on each side of the bearing. Insert this assembly into the bearing cavity and align with the screwdriver. Insert the M4 by 20 screw and secure with an M4 nut. Repeat this process for the remaining bearing assembly. Once completed, add the bearing assembly to the extruder idler using the same method. Insert an M3 nut into the lower idler screw nut trap. Note, this must be done prior to attaching the drive motor. Place the drive gear on the motor shaft so the drive teeth are on the outside of the shaft. Lightly tighten the set screw and mate the motor assembly with the extruder body. This may require a little force. Then secure the motor with M3 by 25 screws and nuts. Repeat this step for both motor mounts. Next, loosen the drive gear and position it so it aligns when a small driver is inserted in the filament guide hole. Then tighten the drive gear. Use a vise to press the M3 thumb screws on the idler screw heads. Then insert the last M3 nut into the upper idler trap. Slide the idler screws through the idler holes and secure it to the extruder body. Remove the fan and wiring bag from the E3D hot end kit and set it aside. Gather the hot end and hardware for assembly.
Locate the thin side of the heater block as shown. Then screw in the brass nozzle leaving three to four threads exposed. Screw in the heat brake on the other side so the threads are flush with the heat block. Then lightly tighten the brass nozzle with an M8 wrench. Next, identify the tapered side of the PTF tubing and trial fit it into the heat brake. Then set it aside. Open the thermal paste and apply to the threads of the heat brake. Reinsert the PTF tube and slide the heat sink over the PTF tube. Thread the heat sink on the heat brake and hand tighten. Lastly, trial fit the hot end into the extruder body. Note the leftover PTFE collet is not needed in this design. Next we will install the cartridge heater and cartridge thermistor. With the hot end removed, insert the cartridge heater and clamp with a M3 by 10 screw. Next, insert the cartridge thermistor and secure with an M3 set screw. Clip the thermistor lead wire to the thermistor connector. Next, mate the heat sink fan to its mount with the label out and secure with the screws provided. Reinsert the hot end into the extruder body, then clip on the heat sink fan and align wires for zip tying to the wire management mount on the effector. The last step in the micro extruder assembly is to add two parts blower fans and the extruder motor cooling fan. Pre-position the parts blower fans for proper orientation and secure using M3 by 20 screws. Next, position the extruder motor fan with the fan duct and secure using M3 by 12 screws and M3 nuts. Extend the lead wires and position the parts blower fan assembly over the micro extruder body. Install two M3 by 30 screws through the parts fan mount. This has the added benefit of tightly coupling the E3D hot end to the extruder body as well as attaching the blower fans. Lastly, mount the extruder motor fan assembly, gather all lead wires, and secure them to the wire management mount on the effector using wire ties. Important, per E3D's instructions, it is critical that you heat the hot end to temperature. Tighten the nozzle while holding the heater block with a spanner. This will tighten the nozzle against the heat brake and ensure that your hot end does not leak.